So summer is officially over and winter is fast approaching but we have got that kind of nice transitional season in between and I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of wardrobe essentials when it comes to kind of dressing for autumn winter. Things that you want to kind of dig out and things that you want to um, purchase and I definitely don't think you have to kind of redo your wardrobe every season but a couple of key pieces I think are really important and some things you can kind of reuse and things that you've kind of worn last winter that are still great it really depends on what you like and trends and that kind of thing but I'm just going to talk to you about my picks and the first thing you really want to get is a great flat boot and this is a really really difficult thing to get um, as far as I'm concerned I searched for so long and I could not find a pair that were just what I wanted and I did come across the pair eventually from Forever 21 and I bought them and I wore them kind of towards the end of the winter because that was when I found them and they're still kind of in great condition and I will definitely still be wearing them this winter because I love them. And they are these black flat um, boots. Now they're not totally flat, they have got a little bit of a heel um, and the kind of heel has kind of worn a little bit at the back part here but they're just kind of like a faux leather, they're not super shiny and they're just really flattering. They've got this kind of long zip detailing up the back, round toe and they're just very, very wearable, very flattering and just definitely something that I really enjoy um, and I'm really glad that I found. They're not the most exciting purchase but they're just a very wearable, great staple. The second staple is a ankle boot and I definitely think ankle boots look really cute with dresses and tights and that kind of thing and again I really struggled to find a pair that were a good everyday boot versus some heeled ones because I've got tons of heeled ankle boots and I wanted ones that I could wear every day and that wouldn't hurt my feet too much and I found these eventually. These were from Barrett's and this is what they look like. They're kind of like a cowboy style boot. I know the camera goes really weird when you show black, um, but I don't know why that is. But they're just kind of got a small heel, not too big, very comfortable, a kind of open toe, um, not open toe, kind of open part here at the ankle, so they're quite flattering, suede, really, really lovely, and a great, great piece. You can get these in kind of loads of different shops. New Look do them, Topshop do them. I have had the Topshop ones before. I think they were the ambush ones, but the heel wore off very quickly in those, so I wouldn't spend the money on those again. These were really an expensive and very comfortable. And then my last shoe is something that I purchased kind of towards the end of um, the winter last year. And I never thought I'd wear these, but they have proved themselves incredibly useful and they are Converse. So these were just from a local discount store because I wanted to just buy a pair and see how I got on with them and I have worn them a lot and they do look quite flattering on, styled correctly. I like to kind of style them um, a little bit more a little less casual so I like to kind of wear them with maybe like a nice jacket and jeans and a bright lip and some chunky jewellery just kind of not make it too much of a casual look because then I feel like it can look quite um, sort of teenagery and that's not necessarily a look that I want but they're very very easy to wear and a great kind of staple piece very comfortable and keep your feet really warm. So another great autumn winter staple for me is a coat and I have got quite a lot of coats I definitely like to kind of change it up according to what I'm wearing but um, I I wanted a nice parka coat because I just love kind of how casual they look but they can be very difficult to wear because they can be quite bulky which tends to kind of make you look bigger and it's just not the easiest thing to kind of um, style for yourself if that makes sense. So I decided that I was going to buy this one from Romwe and it's just this lovely lovely just perfect um, for what I wanted because the material isn't too thick I know it kind of makes the camera go weird why does it do that that's so annoying um, fur kind of lining I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like actually but you can see kind of all the insides white fur and then it's kind of got like sort of brass detailing on the arms and the zips kind of here which is really cool and the hood is kind of like nice and chunky and it's very warm but it's not big and padded and it just looks really really cute and absolutely perfect for what I wanted so if you're looking for this style of coat because I know quite a few people were it's kind of um, would hit you mid thigh as well then definitely check it out there because I think it's a fantastic, fantastic coat and just perfect. And then the next thing is a slightly kind of um, different thing for winter. It's not kind of your classic winter pick, I'd say, but I think a good white shirt is really, really useful this time of year because 
winter's very much a kind of slobby um, type of season in terms of clothing if you let it you can just live in jeans and jumpers and it doesn't very much um, it doesn't really dress you up and getting a white shirt and wearing it with like a chunky cardigan like I'm going to show you in a minute is a really really great way to just smarten up what you're wearing and this one is from Anne Fontaine I'm not sure where that is where I got this from but it's just a nicely cut white shirt you can kind of roll the sleeves up wear them long it doesn't matter really really just easy effortless and chic and not really like a seasonal piece they're very much classical and then this right here is another thing that I have been searching for the right one for ages and ages and ages and I wanted like a nice chunky cardigan but that wasn't too chunky I'm very very picky um that wasn't too chunky was just nice and not too not too kind of um I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Not too strange looking, if that makes sense. So not too big and bulky, just very simple and neat looking. So I picked this one from Primark and I am absolutely really happy I got it. I got it in a size 10. It's just a very kind of nice, um, fine knit, grey and sort of speckled which is a colour I love. It's got this kind of chain detailing here which makes it a little bit different. It fits really nicely, I'll show you. It's got kind of very long sleeves which I like and it's not too bulky and the pockets aren't situated in that awkward place that makes your thighs look huge which I really like but I really think this is just a great piece in Primark at the moment go out and get it before it's no longer available because you know how the turnout in Prim Primark can be and it might be gone next week so definitely so another there. great thing is that you can still wear dresses during winter I think dresses look really good especially if they're kind of like jumper dresses and long sleeve dresses and they're worn very casually with just a nice top uh, not a nice top with a nice pair of boots and some tights and a coat and that kind of thing I think they can be styled really nicely this one is from Romwe and it's just this stripy black and white bodycon dress really flattering on actually and just kind of fits just in the right places skims over the wrong places and just looks perfect for that type of thing and then this one is from Zara and this is kind of a very wintry dress I wore this quite a lot last winter it's just this kind of speckled material with black trimming on the sleeves fits really nicely hits you at the right place on your thigh and just looks very chic and can be worn with boots and that kind of thing and then last but not least in terms of accessories things that are really cool are scarves you've got to love a scarf during winter this one here is from H&M it's just this kind of bright print red um, sort of leopard scarf I really like it I really like kind of how you can sort of make it chunky you can kind of wear it like that you can wear it open you can wrap it round just a really nice versatile sort of scarf and adds a nice pop of color and then this right here is amazing and it's a fur snood. Now this is from Accessorize, you can get them from various places but this is the nicest one I have seen and it's just this grey colour and wear this over a coat and it just looks so smart and effortless and chic and gorgeous and I love it so much. I think it's just perfect. So this is definitely, definitely a great um, kind of staple to keep you warm as well as it's still looking chic. But those are my top picks for fashion for autumn winter. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I like dressing for kind of autumn winter. It's very much um, my kind of season. So I definitely will be enjoying that and I hope you all have a great day. Let me definitely know what your picks for fashion will be for the coming, for the season coming up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! The next thing that is super important for your winter wardrobe is a good winter coat. Now I have got a lot of coats, I don't tend to just wear one, I do very much chop and change and decide what I want to wear that day, but I've been after a nice kind of parka style coat for a really really long time and I couldn't find one that I particularly liked and they're very difficult because I feel like they can be quite bulky so they can make you look bigger than you are and it's a very difficult thing to find but I have found the absolute perfect one and this is from Romwe. And it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of thin material khaki coat. 
and it's got this kind of lovely fleece um, lining inside so it's very very comfortable why is it doing that making it go dark um, it's got very very um, nice kind of soft fleece oh I'm gonna sneeze 